Hey guys, my name is Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. In this video, I want to be opening up the uh, January Karen box and uh, showing you guys what's inside of it. Um, so, as video sometimes can be complex, I forgot to hit the record, the, uh, I forgot to turn the microphone on. So I shot this entire video without audio. So I am actually going to show you what came in this Karen box. Um, I realized as I was going through the last of the products, and I was talking about the various things that are in it, I saw that I did not have audio. So I am going to show you what's in it. So first we have a, we have a pair of running gloves that came from Kraft. Um, these are Kraft thermal running gloves. They're medium weight. Um, they're silicone palmed, mid-weight, reversed, fleece, um, they're mobile phone friendly if you're, if you need that. I actually don't mind that since I've made them push over to mobile, uh, since I've made the push over to a smartphone. And they have a reflective logo and a reflective piping. Um, and what that means is, so if you're a runner, I'm not, if you've ever seen my shape. Uh, <laughs> which hopefully will, I'm going to be I'm trying to change. That basically just means is you, you, I can't see because of just the lighting here is not as good, but I can see on the screen of my camera. So you, you should be able to see, but the, the reflective piping. Uh, so as you're running, people behind you can see. It's pretty cool. I believe that company is actually doing, um, the adventure upgrade for this month, which is pretty cool. I just want a full outfit for whoever wanted it. Um, and in this case, gloves like this, I definitely could love. I wear glittens or those, uh, like I wear wool glove mittens, um, whenever it gets really, really cold. And something like this would be really useful during my commute, um, because, or when I drive, because the steering wheel gets really, really cold and the glittens get bulky um and when i'm going on the woods that's fine but during my commute sometimes i don't want something that's as bulky and i have something that's a little bit smartphone friendly for for when i'm waiting for a train or while i'm driving this is useful um I also want to show, because I, I usually show these, it also came with, as usual, the sticker, and pretty picture with the quote, and the information on the different companies on the back. Um, this also comes with a dry skin balm. Um, it's an all natural by Green Goo. I'm not huge on all natural products. Uh, I don't mind them as much for skin ointments. Depends on the product, depends on what they put in it. Uh, I'm not trying to get it on a soapbox. It just, it depends on what they have in it. You just have to be careful. You have to be careful with what they put in it because sometimes if it, if the things are caustic, it can, it can be dangerous. I've had, I've tried some of the products they've given me from Green Goo in the past and they worked pretty good. So I'm, I'm fine with using green goo. I just I'm always careful with all natural with all natural remedies um, that you buy from the store. I'm just I'm careful with them um, because I've I've heard horror stories and I've seen horror stories. Um, the other pro there's two other products. One of the ones I actually didn't test before I realized my audio was broken. <laughs> <laughs> or I forgot to turn on my audio, was another one was called Defunk It. It's a product um, by, well, Defunk It, but it's a permanent odor control, or it's a, yeah, permanent odor control. It's a wa It's a thing that you can use as a pre-wash, it, it, with, with a pre-wash. Uh, it's to help your clothes stay fresh. Um, something like that would be useful or I'm gonna have to take a look at their, at their, uh, what they have, it's a hand wash pack. Um, I would love to see if I could find something that helps me clear the, the small smoke out of wool. 
Um, I know there's methods of doing it. I've looked online, but I, I'm trying to find easy ways of doing it. I don't mind the smell of wool. Uh, the smell of smoke on wool, to be honest. It's just when I bring it into the office um, after a camping trip, I don't like it as much because I, lo <laughs> I love the smell of smoke, but I don't like it in the clean area of my office. And that's where, that's where it annoys me sometimes. So that's why I've started to divide up. Like I have a set of woods clothes and I have a set of, um, or in a set of work clothes. And that's why I've stopped carrying this when I go camping because this is my, this is my day to day hat. This is literally my, my everyday hat. And this is made out of wool. So this holds on to smells. Um, so that brings us on to our uh, last item, which is the food item. Uh, outside of the, we have, um, we have a bunch of deals. It always, we always get, I always get deals with every month with it, with the care box, which is always nice. If I, if I see something on there that I really like and I, and I have money at the time that I want to buy it, so it's nice. But anyways, so this this month is JoJo's chocolate bark. Ooh, I'm gonna have to store some of that aside. Cassie's not here to right now, so I'll have to, I will. I literally have to store that aside for her. Um, I'll have to store half of that aside for her. To, but uh, <laughs> JoJo's chocolate bark. Um, let me show you guys the ingredients. It's an all-natural one, it's a non-GMO, if you're into that. Uh, it says guilt-free, soy-free, gluten-free, satisfies quickly, packed with antioxidants, one day, one a day to kick your sugar craving. Um, ingredients, it's short, so I'll just read it off. It's dark chocolate, uh, superior cacao mass, sh sugar, and cacao butter, uh, almonds, pistachios, dried cranberries, which is sugar and sunflower oil, well, with cranberries, obviously, uh, all-natural, non-GMO, casein protein. Hmm. Alle and that has some allergy information. And then if you want the nutritional information, that I'm not going to read off. Oh. I always like chocolate bark. I actually make a a pretty decent chocolate bark uh, for Christmas. But it's probably not going to be anything like this. That one's more mint. This is not going to be like this. Let's say there we go. Broke it in half. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. Um, so it has various nuts, cranberry, uh, dried cranberries, and chocolate, which combination I'm pretty fond of. Yeah. At the time of filming, this is also my breakfast, so, yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Nuts are pretty good. Um, cranberry's pretty good. Chocolate's delicious. Michael. I wouldn't buy this because it's the all-natural. The non-GMO. That I don't care. Really, I don't. I buy this because it's delicious. <laughs> mm. Not overpowering with not overpowering with the ingredients. There's a lot of chocolate products I find that have like almonds in it, they tend to overpower the almonds. 
like a lot of chocolate bars where they put almonds in it. Those have large chunks of almonds. They always do. And I find that sometimes takes away from the chocolate bar because you're taking it and then you just, it's just a massive crunch from it. This one, they're broken down and it's crushed up. And it's really, really nice. And then you have, then you have a little bit of the soft chew from the, uh, the craze which is really nice. And the chocolate bark, it's actually, it's, it's, when I make chocolate bark, I make it very, very, um, I make it hard. I make it very crackly. Um, this one's very much more soft than the one I make when I make my chocolate bark. Um, it melts nice in the mouth. Would I take the hiking with me? Probably not, except for the winter. Or colder seasons. Mostly because melting issues. May have a couple ideas how to fix that. But because even then, like my body temperature melted that. Um, um, but otherwise, if I could get past the melting of that, I would definitely take that out, hands down. Let's take a look, see what else I have. Um, especially because I have a, you know. I have a code from them. I bet they also have some non-nut versions too. Um, but anyways, so that is when it's a January box. I'm sorry that this one was less of an unboxing because I forgot to turn on the microphone for the first round. <laughs> anyways, you guys have a good day. Remember, get in the woods. Have some fun. Um, I sure have been. Um, see everyone.